Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, September 16th, 2020 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Brad today posted another one of his malware analysis quizzes. In this case, he's asking what type of malware is being downloaded in the PCAP that he offers for analysis. Now, he does recommend that you are not using a Windows system to analyze this file because the malware is Windows malware. So if you aren't careful enough, it's possible that you could infect yourself if you are extracting the malware. I won't give away the solution yet. And please don't read the comments if you are in for the challenge. Another interesting comment that Pratt makes about this malware, it only takes two clicks in a default configured Windows 10 system and Windows 10 in its default configuration will not alert you of this particular malware, which well, um, that's sort of a good part, has become somewhat uncommon. Most common malware is now being detected by Windows 10 in its default configuration. So you don't necessarily need any specific antivirus or any hardening of the system. And I've mentioned Adobe's Magento a couple times in the past because it has been repeatedly a target of attacks. One particular problem is Magento 1. Now, Magento 1 has been end of life for, I think, a couple of years now, but still is in heavy use. And of course, being end of life, there are no more patches being released for it. And as such, of course, it's pretty easy pickings for attacker. Security company Sansec has an update on an attack that they detected last weekend. Apparently, around 2,000 different online shops were the victim of these attacks. And as a result, a keystroke logger was installed. So one of those typical um, JavaScript keystroke loggers that we see a lot these days. Now, part of the reason of this apparent flare up in attacks against Magento 1 appears to be a hacking kit being sold by some individuals. For $5,000, you'll get a remote code execution exploit, including an instruction video. And apparently it does not require any prior Magento admin experience. And talking about Adobe, Adobe today released an update for Media Encoder. It addresses three important flaws that can lead to information disclosure. Nothing really out of the ordinary and nothing that you need to necessarily rush out. Some outlets have described this as an emergency patch, but remember Adobe has moved away from the patch Tuesday scheme for anything but Flash Player, which needs to be coordinated with Microsoft. So this isn't really an out of band or emergency patch like some people have described it as. And I mentioned it on Monday, but just as a reminder, because I see it now hitting some of the major news outlets, so people sometimes ask about it. Zero logon, the unauthenticated domain controller compromise vulnerability, CVE 2020-1472. There is an exploit available for this vulnerability now. You absolutely have to patch this. The patch was released as part of Microsoft's August patch Tuesday. So double check that you have this applied. I hope by now everybody got this done and you should already be well done, of course, with September's patch Tuesday, which is now a week old. And if you have been around for a while, in particular with Unix systems, you may remember the finger command, which of course has no longer really been used for the last, 
I don't know, uh, 15, 20 years or something like that. That doesn't prevent Windows from also implementing it and shipping now with a finger client. Not really sure when Windows started doing that, uh, but well, uh, no big surprise here. This command can be used as a command control channel and then of course can be used to download files and send data back to an attacker. It does use odd ports, port 79, and uh, you could also see it on port 43. So double check that these ports are not in use. There are probably more stealthy methods uh, to do a command control channel, DNS and things like bits admin come to mind. But then again, you know, a lot of uh, the preventions to these living off the land binaries, as they're often called, are focusing on these well-known tools and you may miss a stupid little tool like finger. Well, that's it for today. And just as a reminder, if you go to the show notes page, you'll also see a list of classes that I'll be teaching. I'll be scheduled to actually teach two classes in October. One is the intrusion detection in depth class, uh, one of my all time favorite classes. And then if you are defending web applications, cloud or on premise, certainly take a look at defending web applications security essentials i'll be teaching that the third week of october that's it for today thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow bye